In this video, I'm going to give a high level overview of Max GDS and show how to connect to a spacecraft, how to send telemetry to a database, and how to visualize that telemetry in a visualization tool called Grafana. So, the first thing I'm going to do, since I have Max GDS on my local machine, is I'm going to run the command, the master UI commands, to launch the master UI window. This is the command interface with Max GDS. You want to see the list of available commands to issue. You can type forward slash help and it will output a list of all the commands that you can issue with Max GDS. I won't go into detail about a lot of these commands. The one I will go in detail about, a little bit more detail about it, is the connect command. So as I print out the help for the connect command, it will show you the usage for the command as well as the description for the command as well as all of the options that are available, all the arguments that are available for this command. Um, there's a lot of options available to the connect command. It's a little bit more mature. There's a lot more functionality built into the connect commands. Um, so this is what we use in our script. So on the right hand side here, we have a Python file that is our max GDS script. At the beginning here, we just set a grab a date time. So this is how I can keep my simulations at the same uh, date time all the time. So I can set this clock of the spacecraft, the spacecraft clock time. The first um, command that I'm going to send is basically to load the extension, uh, the database extension, so we can send telemetry to the database. I'll set the active, which is a pointer that lets me know where the command and telemetry database CSV files are. This lets me know the types of commands that I can send to the spacecraft as well as the telemetry that's coming from the spacecraft. When I connect to the spacecraft, it can set the clock time for the spacecraft, and then I can enable the database to start sending the telemetry to the database. And a little bit further, this the telem rate command sets the frequency at which to update these A bits. And then the last command is just a no op command that lets us know that we're connected to the spacecraft and that the spacecraft communication was successful. So I can run this command using the exec file command, which points to this script. Run that. Um, one thing before I get started is down below, we have Max running in a Docker container down here. So uh, two, two commands that were issued were just some setup commands that uh, help, set up Max, set, help set up Max. So when I go to run this Max GDS script, you'll see some output down below for those commands that were issued from Max GDS. So this lets me know that Max received the commands from Max GDS. You can see the set clock time down here see the set a pit frequency um, as well as the no op command this lets me know that the spacecraft received it you can see the same thing in max gds the commands that were issued versus the what was output from the actual spacecraft i have debugging turned on so you can see that the output for this is uh, the packets that are actually writing to the database and if i wanted to see the the raw data in the database, you can go to PG admin. You can use Postgres for our database. So you use PG admin and you can come to this one packets table where you can run this and see this column, the telemetry column. It, each row ind indicates a single packet. And the telemetry column is all the telemetry that's in that packet. And then we can use this data to graph to visualize what's going on with our spacecraft. So if I come over to Grafana, we have a demo dashboard set up that will help us visualize uh, all the telemetry that's coming down. So I can set this on an interval of refresh every one second to get the latest telemetry. So I'm going to get the latest telemetry that's coming down and I have it refreshing every one second. So you can see that the panels are all updating at an interval of once per second. And you can see this is the telemetry that's coming down from the spacecraft that is near real time. So 
when I say near real time, it just takes the amount of time that Max GDS sends it to the database and then the query happens to go retrieve the telemetry in the database is the lag for, for real time. So that's why it's near real time. You can build your dashboards out to be whatever you want. This is just a very simple demo dashboard that shows some very basic visualizations using some telemetry points. You can come into any of the um, any of the panels and you can create additional panels, you can remove panels, you can totally start from scratch with your dashboards, and you can use different visualizations that's other than a graph. You can use stats, gauges, bar graphs, tables, uh, really whatever, whatever you want, you'll be able to see. And all those are backed by a Postgres query. So that covers kind of at a high level some of what you can do for getting telemetry into a database and being able to visualize it in Nirvana. We also have the Max portal, which you can come to view documentation on Max, additional documentation on Max GDS. So that URL is max.goasi.com forward slash docs. And you can come to the Max GDS section and I recommend the getting started, which will give you insight as to how you can get started running Max GDS. Um, other additional functionality, Grafana, as I mentioned, it will show you how to get set up with Grafana, install it, how to connect to Max GDS, and then the database as well, how and set up Postgres, and then start connecting to Max GDS to send telemetry. You can come into the commands section and you can see the full list of commands available to you to issue a Max GDS. The one that we cover specifically was connect. So as you come in here, we have some uh, doc simple documentation for examples on how to connect to a spacecraft, as well as the arguments and usage. This is all the printout, the exact same printout that you got from the master UI window. So there's consistent documentation between both the code and online. If you ever need to come um, see it in a different format or you just wanted to look across different commands and see what's available. So that's all we'll cover for today.